is going to speak on the importance of lifestyle modification in diabetes. Eating a balanced diet is important in management of diabetes. The diet should be very rich in fruits and vegetables, whole grains and low fat containing foods. Carbohydrates should be taken to the minimum. Especially refined carbohydrates should be as low as possible. Give at least 30 minutes of activity before or after your diet. Choosing a calorie free liquid is essential. Using unsweetened tea and coffee is also advised. Sugar substitutes have played an important role and can be easily used so that the food intake is adequate. Always consult a dietitian and practice their plan. I am going to talk to you on the, uh, the key points in dietary modification in diabetes. Always eat healthy. That is crucial when you have diabetes because when you eat, it will affect your blood sugar. No foods are strictly off limits. You can enjoy your foods, but focus on eating what your body needs. Get plenty of vegetables, fruits. Always supplement your major meals, breakfast, lunch and dinner with a fruit. Choose a non-fatty and daily needs food. The choice of food and the quantity depends on your blood sugar control. So monitoring your blood sugar also helps in planning your diet. Eating more increases blood sugar. We can't uh, manufacture our own glucose. It has to come from food and manage that it is more important with control. and the diabetes. The food uh, is a direct effect on glucose. Yes, it is true. Certain foods raise glucose faster, especially rice, wheat and other legumes always increases your glucose very fast. So managing diabetes, also ma managing in diet and planning a diet so that you have a mixture of food so that you can enjoy your meal. For example, carbohydrates, they are rich, carbohydrates rich in sugar are increases the blood glucose level very fast and combined with fiber in the food with grains, fruits and vegetables, the race is slowed down. So choosing a carbohydrate from a healthy source like vegetable fruits and whole grains is essential. Make it always a point that you add if one of the vegetables or fruits and things. Proteins are important. Proteins also enhance the action of insulin. Fats are necessary because in the give palatability to the food, but fat also increases your weight. So by basing on your weight, you can choose your fat requirements. Eating a very nutrient-rich foods in each month helps in control of diabetes also. Stress do contribute to increase in your sugar levels by an interaction with hormones, especially corticotropic hormones, which increases your blood glucose level. One of the stress factors is always is an anxiety. It uh, makes the managing uh, diabetes very difficult. Stress can strategically affect the control of diabetes. If you are under stress, you can miss your medications or you can tend to forget that what food you have taken or you don't concentrate on the food intake. This may increase your blood sugar level. So finding really how to relieve this stress, doing deep breathing exercise, yoga and relaxing hobbies. It is always good habit to have these type of exercises to relieve your stress. Sleep is the most important. Get plenty of sleep that will also help. Always stay positive and diabetic control is within your hands. Today I am going to talk you on living healthy with a 
the diabetes. Adopting a healthy lifestyle always prevents or delays the onset of complications or occurrence of diabetes and it is critical to the managing a disease. Normalize the it's imperative to normalize the critical health numbers. Diabetes is a game of numbers and controlling your weight, blood sugar, blood pressure, blood cholesterol always play an important part in your healthy being. Maintaining a proper eating and exercise and taking your medicines regularly helps you to keep it. One important factor we all forget is checking feet every day for cuts, blisters, spots, swelling. Any sign of sore or unhealing ulcer or unhealing skin problem, please consult your doctor so that you don't push away anything. Keeping your blood sugar in check, monitoring regularly helps us. Consult your doctor at regular intervals. The fifth component is consulting the doctor who can interpret your reports and then help you to control.